What is up, Phaser fans? How have y'all been? You know I love you and I miss you. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? I've never met before. You don't know who I am? Oh, that's right. This is my debut for Phaser. Yeah, well, I, I recently got a directorship with Phaser, and I'm really proud and happy to be a part of the network, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be bringing you guys great content that you're going to love and enjoy. So I guess I need to start by giving a little introduction about myself. My name is Will, I'm 18 years old, and I'm a senior in high school. I like to make Call of Duty videos, and I like to play Call of Duty in my spare time. And I guess I'll tell you a little bit about my channel, too. My channel, if you like Call of Duty, you're going to like my channel, plain and simple. What I plan to do with my channel is I plan to help the guy who's not that good at this game. The guy who's going 2-15 and 15 and always letting his team down. No one likes to be that guy, and no one likes to have that guy in their team. So what I want to do is I want to help everyone out there who could get a little bit better at Call of Duty by bringing you tips and trips, tricks on, you know, the new maps and stuff, and with guns and whatnot to use and what to use, just to help you out. Because I, fig I find that this game is a whole lot funner when you can do well. Like... You don't want to be the guy that's consistently getting killed. I don't care how much you say you don't care about the game or your KD ratio. None of that really matters. What matters at the end of the day is if you're having fun. And what I find is going 2-15 and 15 or consistently just non-stop getting manhandled by everyone else in the game is just not that fun. So I thought about making a Call of Duty channel to help out people who aren't that good. Not to be post Moabs and great high scores. Games like that are fun. And don't get me wrong, they're kind of enjoyable to watch, but I want to be the guy who makes videos to help people get better. Because no one, like I said, no one wants to be that guy who goes 2-15 and 15 and makes their team lose, and no one wants to have that guy on their team. And it's just a whole lot funner if you can get a little bit better at the game and maybe, you know, do better. And that's about my channel. And if you want to be, if you want to see videos like that to help you get better, come and check out my channel. Also, I'll probably be uploading the latest gossip and news and everything new about Call of Duty to keep you up to date and current on the Call of Duty community. Now that's about my channel. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the gameplay. See, this is a face-off 1 vs 1 on Getaway if you can't tell. I mean, obviously you know that. What I'm doing this match is basically I'm using Sitrep Pro and I'm, I'm just sound horning in, in the, I'd say the generally the back house of the map. And I don't think this is camping, but everyone says I'm a camper. Every time I play this map, I do this and get away. Mostly because with Sitrep Pro, it doesn't matter if you spawn in the back of the map near the pool or in the back of the map near the car in the sand run, on the sand roads. I'll be able to hear you spawn, and when you're running up, I'll be able to hear you. Whether you have dead silence or not, I'm going to be able to hear you. Sitrep Pro is just that overpowered. That is probably tip number one for people. If you have a headset, or even if you don't have a headset because Sitrep Pro is just this good, put Sitrep Pro on. And just take a second to listen. I know it might be hard in a 6 for 6 game, but just take a second and listen. You'll be able to hear people no matter what. If you're listening to this video, well, maybe not because I'm doing a commentary and I'm going to have to turn the game sound down, but I promise you Sitrep Pro is the first thing that will improve your game. Because being able to hear people gives you a clear advantage. There's nothing you can do to counter that. It is the most overpowered thing in this game, and has been in the Call of Duty franchise since, I believe, Call of Duty 4. If I'm wrong, correct me. Now, this video should be coming to an end in about a minute, but as you can tell, I'm just straight destroying this guy, and mainly one reason, because I can hear him from across the map. No matter where he goes, I hear him. That gives me a clear advantage. This guy could be twice as good as me, and I would still win a 1 vs 1 against him every time, because I know exactly where he's at with Sitrep Pro. I mean, if you guys haven't used it, go out and try it. Now, what I want to say next is... Do you guys think the way I'm playing this map is that camping? Because like I've said, I get called a camper every single time I play because I play like this on Getaway. Now, I don't feel it's camping because if you look, I am controlling about half the map. I don't understand how you can be a camper if you're controlling half of the map. That, that just boggles my mind that people think this is camping. And if you think this is camping, there's nothing wrong with it. Just leave a comment and let me know why you think this is camping. Well, this video is wrapping up. If you guys enjoyed this video, or if I taught you anything at all, leave a like rating. Come check out my channel. You won't be disappointed, I promise. And also, be sure to check out Phaser. They have great content. Subscribe to them if you haven't already. And this is Snow, and I'm out, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.